What is up guys, Mike Wang here. It's been a while since I've updated you all on the cryptocurrency market. So I'm going to show you what I am seeing in the charts and how I am approaching the market. So let me go over the list of things that I wanna say one by one. And the first thing that I wanna mention is that it's better for you to expose yourself to the market through spot positions rather than longing futures. I think a dollar cost averaging approach to the market with 10 to 40% of your capital is probably the best approach to the average Joe because I'm seeing a lot of crypto projects that are severely undervalued for what they can be. In regards to the cryptocurrency projects that I think uh, are worth looking at right now, um, when it comes to decentralized exchange related coins, uh, what I have in mind it are coins over here on the uh, chart, such as Uniswap, Curve, Kyber Network, and Zero X. Personally, I think these uh, projects are severely undervalued. And for Web3 projects, uh, we obviously have Basic Attention Token. And if you want to get a little more adventurous, uh, you can also take a look at Mask. So it's not only Bitcoin that's been showing weakness in price action. Uh, the equity markets bounced yesterday, but overall the markets are uh, markets all across are correcting and reaching oversold levels. And the fact of the matter is, that as the market approaches extremely oversold levels, the higher the probability of a technical bounce. So that means you need to be extremely careful with shorting, especially if you're shorting late. Now, as for those of you who are still holding bags of altcoins that you bought when Bitcoin was at the top over here at 69K, if you're down over 40%, I would say that you are already past the point of cutting losses and it's not the best idea to dollar cost average blindly right now and it may be a little painful holding that bag but you got to wait it out until the market clears out just a little bit and there's more confirmation but just to cheer you up a little bit the cryptocurrency market is probably the only market where you can be down on a position by 80% and come out profitable in the end with 500% gains. I'll discuss the details of the probable scenarios in my newsletter, which you can subscribe to in my website. Link is in the description down below. And in my newsletter, as you guys already probably know, I talk about uh, the uh, overall markets, how my high commission stock analysis, on-chain data, uh, on-chain data analytics and the uh, macro market as well. So uh, make sure to check that out. Link is in the description. So going back to the Bitcoin chart, in the end, it all boils down to whether the price bounces from current levels, right? Or whether we see further downside before a meaningful bounce or a reversal. So uh, here are the things that you need to do, right? So the first thing you need to do is identify the overall trend. Yes, I believe we are in a macro bull trend, but the short to mid term is clearly a downtrend. So taking this into consideration, think about this. What is the best course of action for you to take when we are not in a short term bull trend, but but expect a reversal at any point, whether it be right now or a little bit later. But like I said before, the best course of action is to buy spot. And I don't mean going all in on spot, but managing your cash holdings and dollar cost averaging slowly into crypto. Entering a long position through futures is not the same thing. There's a high probability you get liquidated when the market moves like this, right? I mean, if we just take a look at the 30 minute chart, look at this insane price section. This range, unless you're extremely experienced, is gonna be very difficult for you to trend. Uh, this over here is where uh, late longs got liquidated. And uh, if you start shorting somewhere around the region here near support, that's where late shorts are going to get liquidated. So regardless of your position, you are going to get wrecked if you trade futures. There's a high probability that happens to you, right? Um, and if you really want to trade futures, since we are in a short to midterm downtrend, the obvious and logical approach will be to look for short entries near resistance, right? So if you wanted to enter a short position, you should have considered entering at 42K, which is also the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement resistance, right? So that would have been a logical place to short, but if you failed to enter a short position, then there's no reason for you to enter a late short position now. But my advice to you really would be to stay away from margin trading for now because I can expect insane volatility in the coming weeks with rate hikes, inflation, and regional conflict in Ukraine. 
Um, so stick with spots, stick with slowly buying in and scaling into spots, right? So moving on, I want to quickly talk about this sort of confirmation that I want to see in order to A, not only confirm a reversal for Bitcoin, but also B, when to know to aggressively scale into altcoins. And in order to do so, we need to look at some of the key moving averages, which are the 7, 25, and 99 moving averages, right? So the 7 moving average here is in blue, uh, the 25 moving average here in green, and the 99 moving average in red, right? So as we can see, the moving averages are all uh, inversely aligned. So we have the 99 moving average at the very top and then the 25 and then the 7 moving average, which indicates that we are in a clear downtrend, right? So if we look at the historical example to see how this works in context, uh, this is how it works, right? So we were in a similar position in a similar downtrend where uh, the moving averages were inversely aligned in this region, right? I keep talking about how uh, the zone that we are at is not too different from uh, what we saw back in May to July of last year. But uh, what happened was after we tested the range lows again, right over here, we saw a technical bounce up to the 99 moving average, right? And when Bitcoin moved this way, uh, despite it being a significant bounce, alts didn't move. Alts hardly moved. It was only Bitcoin paving way first. And then only after breaking above the 99 moving average, only after we saw the uh, uh, alignment of the 7, 25, and 99 moving averages over here, this is when alts started to move, right? So this move over here, it was only Bitcoin. This move over here is where altcoins started moving as well. So that means that alts will only move upon confirmation of a trend reversal from Bitcoin, right? So if we see over here, we can see how the 99 moving average continues to reject Bitcoin. So what we need to see over here is a clear break and close above the 99 moving average on Bitcoin's price action and the 7 and 25 moving averages following along and forming a golden cross on that as well. So if you put this into context and think about what this means, it also means that if Bitcoin corrects further down from here, alts are going to bleed harder. So if we take a look at what happened uh, just a few weeks back, Bitcoin bounced from Bitcoin bounced from 34k up to 45k. That's a huge bounce, right? But it failed to break above the 99 moving average, and it dumped down, which means that from uh, 34k to uh, 45k it was only bitcoin that moved alts stayed where they were because alts don't move when uh, bitcoin's trading below the 99 moving average right what that means is from the bounce starting at 34k up to 45k it was only bitcoin that moved but when bitcoin corrected alts corrected even harder right so if bitcoin corrects further from here as well we could see all coins bleed harder which means that it would take alts to extremely oversold levels. So that is something that I would be a little cautious about. But overall, I think uh, all coins, uh, especially the ones I mentioned here, are already at uh, pretty severely oversold levels. And I think they're good picks for the mid to long term. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. I wouldn't ape into them uh, necessarily because of how Bitcoin could react and how alts could react in response to Bitcoin's price action. Uh, but this is something that you need to look out for. Anyways, that is it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful in explaining what you need to do to best expose yourself to the market with minimum risk. If you want an in-depth explanation on how it's done and how I personally do it as well, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.